We're making a Japanese style cucumber salad. Another one in our Colossal Cucumber series. This is a Japanese style cucumber salad. Just a few ingredients. Again, it's fresh and clean. Um, a lot of things you can do with cucumbers. Now for this recipe, you're gonna need one large seedless or English cucumber, or you can use two medium cucumbers. I'm gonna use the English cucumber just because uh, I wanna use these for another recipe. So the first thing we need to do is we need to um, take this and we wanna take a peeler and make alternating strips of the cucumber, okay? So you're gonna, you're gonna turn it a little bit, and you, so that way, when you're done, you can see it's gonna make a cool pattern. And don't freak out if the, the space between the, uh, the, uh, the peels are not the same. If you're uh, a little uh, OCD here, this is probably not a recipe for you. All right, we're gonna go one more in here, so you get... See, it's okay, it's not perfect, it's okay. Then we are going to cut this cucumber in half. We're gonna take off these ends first. All right, and we're gonna cut this cucumber in half. Lengthwise. Now we wanna take out the seeds. The nice thing about the English cucumber, there aren't really much seeds to take out. Um, we do want to kind of remove some of the excess moisture in there. We're going to do that. So now, as with other recipes, we want to cut these things super thin. Um, you need to have a mandolin or a food processor with an attachment. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know this is this is my mandolin. That's like 50 years old. It was my mom's. It just keeps working, so I'm going to just keep using it. And we want to go thin. Right? We want to go as thin as possible. You can see as we get into the cucumber, it makes a nice little pattern. You know, dark light, dark light. So it's just for some visual effect. We wanna make it appealing to the eye as well as tasting good to us. I don't know if this style of mandolin is available anymore. I really like it, it's easy to clean, it's easy to adjust. It has these cool little hooks that you can put it on the, hang it on the, on the bowl if you wanna do it right into the bowl. The only downside to doing this by hand is it takes a little longer. You do it with a food processor with an attachment and you just like zoop, zoop. Of course, then you have to clean the whole food processor. And with this, you just have to clean one thing, so. All right, we've got our cucumbers sliced. At this point, you wanna take a double paper towel, put your cucumbers in it, and we're gonna push gently to get rid of any excess moisture. Now, if you have a little extra time, you could salt these a little bit, put them in a colander, and let them drain. But a lot of times, I'm doing these type of salads at the last minute, and I wanna move it along, and I wanna serve this right away. So, unless your cucumber's really, really wet, or juicy, this works just fine. See, all right. Now, we are going to put our cucumbers in this bowl. We are going to add a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. We have a quarter teaspoon of salt. They use either sea salt or Himalayan salt. We have a teaspoon of sugar. Now, we don't use sugar around here. If you do, that's great. If not, we use a sugar substitute. So, a teaspoon. And two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds. Now, in order to toast your sesame seeds, you just get a hot pan, um, put them in on, on low to medium low heat, stir them for about two minutes or so until they get dark. And then we just mix these things up. It's nice having the two layer component of, you already have crunch with the cucumber, but then with the sesame seeds, you get a secondary crunch and then you get some of that toasty flavor in there, which works really nice against the vinegar. A little sweetness from your sugar or sugar substitute. All right, let's plate these up. Now 
All right, here you go. It's simple, but it's good. It's nice as a simple side dish. Give it a try, Japanese style cucumber salad.